Hey everybody, Mike Iconelli here. Want to talk to you about the recent Going Ike episode, Fishing in the Bay for Giant Lingcod. Man, what a fun show. This was a brand new species I'd never fished before, and I got to fish with a good buddy of mine, Ish Monroe. Man, super fun. Um, and I gotta tell you, it's interesting because although I never fished that part of the West Coast in the salt water for this species called Lingcod, we basically used bass tackle and bass style baits to catch these fish. The only difference is the fish were a lot deeper than what I'd fish in fresh water. We were catching most of these fish out of 180 to 220 feet of water. It's pretty amazing. Um, but the technique was the same as what you would use for bass. And it was basically slow rolling a big swim bait. You know, and in the show you're gonna see we used basically bigger versions of a swim bait head. And you know, a three quarter, a one ounce, even up to a two ounce swim bait head. This happens to be a VMC Ike approved swim bait head. But that was the style jig head we used. And then the bait we used was very similar to traditional bass baits. You know, we used soft bodied boot tail style swim baits. You know, a lot like a, a Berkeley hollow belly or a lot like the Berkeley rib shad. Um, and you know, the rigging was the same. You know, and if you see in the video, you notice the one thing we, when we rigged them, we wanted to make sure that when we rigged that soft swim bait, that the boot tail was facing the opposite way of the hook. And that really gives the bait the most natural action, even on a slow movement. So we just would thread that bait on there and make really, really long casts in that, with that swim bait to that deep water, let it sink all the way to the bottom, and then we use the same swim bait slow rolling technique that I use for freshwater bass fishing. Let it hit the bottom and basically slowly reel it. And you know, for me that slow ratio on the reel was helping. I used an Abu Garcia uh, Revo Beast, which had that slower gear ratio, and that helped me maintain that slow pace. And about every six to 10 cranks, I would stop it, and it would hit the bottom again, and I would start it again. So you can imagine that swim bait on that rocky bottom in the bay for those lingcod, it would hit the bottom, you'd swim it up a little off the bottom, you'd pause it, it would let it hit again, and it looked like a natural bait fish, natural forage that they were eating. Um, man, I gotta tell you, the strikes were violent. Again, just like in bass fishing, they'd really pop slack into your line or hit it and come at you or hit, hit it and run the other way. Some of the most exciting strikes I've ever had in my life. So, you know, think about that technique, whether you're in the salt fishing for lingcod or even if you're fishing in freshwater for other species, try that slow rolling technique with that big swim bait. You're going to catch some monsters just like we did. Hope you enjoyed the show.